What is the role of anti-nuclear antibodies in recurrent pregnancy loss? Let's look at one of the papers that's examined 1,021 women with unexplained recurrent pregnancy loss from 2006 to suggest to evaluate whether anti-nuclear antibody status influences pregnancy outcome. This finding showed no significant difference in live birth rates between ANA positive and ANA negative women at any title level. At 140 dilution, the live birth rates were nearly identical, 72.5% to 70. 3.2%, even at a title of 1 is to 160 dilution, the rates remain statistically comparable at 82.4% versus 726 When losses from chromosomal abnormalities or ectopic pregnancies were then excluded, the outcomes stayed very similar at 92.8% versus 93%. The research revealed that antibody staining patterns offered no prognostic value. The live birth rates, however, declined as women's age advanced and as more miscarriages occurred, while anti-nuclear antibody positivity rates remain consistent regardless of loss of history. Why is it important? Because these challenge the European guidelines of testing for anti-nuclear antibodies in recurrent pregnancy loss. This study, to a certain extent, tells us that probably it is not that useful, and in unexplained infertility without autoimmune causes, it is probably an unnecessary investigations.